Welcome back to The Business Champion. Today we are going to talk about what all men think about, the Roman Empire. It is an enduring symbol of power, grandeur, and governance, and its management of finances played a pivotal role in its rise, stability, and eventual decline. Spanning over a millennium, the Roman Empire offers a wealth of insights into the complexities of fiscal administration, taxation, currency, and economic policies. In this exploration, we will delve into the intricacies of how the Roman Empire utilized its finances to govern and maintain one of the most influential civilizations in history. Number one, the economic foundations of Rome. The economic foundations of the Roman Empire were rooted in agriculture, trade, and conquest. During its early days as a republic, Rome's economy was primarily agrarian, with small farms forming the backbone of the state's revenue. As the empire expanded through military conquests, its economic base broadened, encompassing vast agricultural estates, mines, trade networks, and tribute from provinces. A. Revenue Generation and Taxation Tribute from Provinces One of the primary sources of revenue for the Roman Empire was the tribute collected from the provinces. Conquered territories paid tribute to Rome, which enriched the state treasury and funded the maintenance of the legions stationed in those regions. Land Taxes Rome imposed various taxes on land, including the Centesima Rerum Venalium, a sales tax on goods, and Centesima Rerum Rusticarum, a tax on agricultural products. These taxes were essential sources of revenue and often collected by publicans, private individuals who bid for the right to collect taxes in a particular province. Trade and Customs Duties Rome controlled trade by imposing import and export duties on goods passing through its ports and borders. The control of key trade routes such as the Silk Road and Mediterranean allowed the empire to collect substantial tariffs. B. Currency and Monetary Policy The Denarius The Roman Empire's standard currency was the Denarius, a silver coin. The government maintained strict control over the minting of denarii to ensure their quality and purity. This currency served as a unit of account for transactions and was widely accepted throughout the empire. Monetary Debasement Despite early efforts to maintain the purity of the denarius, debasement became a common practice in later periods. Emperors reduced the silver content to create more coins, leading to inflation and economic instability. This debasement undermined trust in the currency and contributed to economic challenges. The Aureus and Solidus in addition to the denarius, Rome introduced the aureus, a gold coin, which was used for larger transactions. Later, Emperor Constantine introduced the solidus, a gold coin with a fixed weight and purity, which remained a stable currency for centuries. Number two, expenditure and fiscal administration. A significant portion of Rome's expenditures went towards the maintenance of the vast empire, including the following key areas. A military expenditure. Legions and garrison. A substantial portion of the Roman budget was allocated to the military. Rome maintained a vast standing army with legions stationed across the empire to defend its borders and expand its territories. Supply and logistics. The cost of supplying and maintaining the legions including food, equipment, and salaries, was a considerable financial burden. Rome's logistical capabilities, such as its extensive road network and granaries, played a crucial role in supporting the military. B. Infrastructure and Public Works Network of Roads The Roman Empire invested heavily in infrastructure, constructing a vast network of well-engineered roads that facilitated trade, communication, and the movement of troops. 
This infrastructure was essential for the efficient administration of the empire. Aqueducts and Public Buildings Rome also funded the construction of aqueducts to supply water to its cities and numerous public buildings, including temples, forums, and baths. These projects served practical and political purposes, showcasing the wealth and power of the empire. Key. Public Entertainment and Welfare Bread and Circuses The Roman government provided free or heavily subsidized grain to the urban poor as part of the Bread and Circuses policy. In addition to food, the state sponsored lavish entertainment, including gladiatorial games, chariot races, and theater performance. These measures were intended to pacify the population and maintain social stability. Number three, economic challenges and reforms. The Roman Empire faced several economic challenges throughout its existence, which led to significant reforms. A, inflation and economic instability. Monetary debasement. The frequent debasement of the denarius contributed to inflation, eroding the purchasing power of the currency and causing economic instability. This devaluation of money had a profound impact on the daily lives of Roman citizens. Price controls. To combat inflation, Emperor Diocletian introduced the Edict on Maximum Prices, which fixed the prices of various goods and services. While this measure temporarily stabilized prices, it also discouraged production and led to shortages. B. Economic inequality. Social disparities. Economic inequality grew over time, with a wealthy elite class, known as the senatorial class, owning vast estates, while the urban poor struggled with poverty and unemployment. Tax policies favored the wealthy, exacerbating this disparity. C. Reforms and Innovations The Solidus Emperor Constantine's introduction of the Solidus, a stable gold coin, provided a reliable currency and helped stabilize the Eastern Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire. Number 4. The Decline and Legacy of Roman Finances The decline of the Roman Empire was marked by economic struggles, corruption, and external threats. The Western Roman Empire eventually fell in 476 AD, while the Eastern Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire, continued to thrive. The legacy of Roman finances is profound. A. Enduring influence. Legacy in modern finance. Roman financial practices, including taxation, coinage, and fiscal administration continue to influence modern economic systems and policies. Lessons from Fiscal Mismanagement The fiscal challenges faced by the Roman Empire provide valuable historical lessons for contemporary policymakers, highlighting the dangers of monetary debasement and economic inequality. Impact on Western Civilization the Roman Empire's economic legacy is deeply embedded in Western civilization, shaping economic thought and institutions for centuries. The finances of the Roman Empire were a dynamic and multifaceted aspect of its history. Rome's economic foundation, taxation policies, currency management, and fiscal challenges all played significant roles in the rise, stability, and eventual decline of this remarkable civilization. The enduring legacy of Roman finance continues to influence modern economic systems and offers invaluable insights into the complexities of managing the fiscal affairs of a vast and influential empire. If you enjoyed this video, please tell me more of what you would like to see in the comment section and follow for more insights in becoming a business champion.